Good evening and welcome to another video by Russia UK. Okay, on today's uh, video we're going to be talking about uh, James Farham. Now, you might be asking, who is he? Now, he's one of the chair of um, IWGB and uh, they've got a sub-branch called United Private Hire Drivers UPHD. Now, UPHD represents thousands of drivers. They've been concentrating mainly on employment laws um, and recently on drivers' safety. Anything to do with private hired drivers, you know, these guys were representing these um, thousands of drivers. Now, under his leadership, um, the union has taken Uber to court twice. And both occasions, you'll remember that they have one Uber. And this is a trade union, you know, a very small trade union. And it's the only trade union to, to actually have one against Uber. Now, he continues his battle for every single private hire drivers. And, and there's been a twist, really, on his quest for private hire drivers' rights. And that's, that was in a recent uh, protest in London. Now, this was a protest for all PCO drivers whose livelihood was under threat from TFL with the introduction of congestion charge. He was out there with thousands of uh, drivers protesting against TFL's introduction of congestion charge. Now, these protests were hugely popular and, and filtering onto the general public hemisphere and the media was also at the same time taking interest. He could also argue that uh, even Uber um, later on introduced the one pound per trip uh, they were going to give um, to Uber drivers for completing any trips within, uh, 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 well, if they ended or finished within um, London City. So, um, you know, so what we're going to do now, right, is actually go through uh, the crowd justice uh, page which they've set up and, uh, you know, we'll read through that. Okay, so what we're going to do now, right, is actually uh, read the crowd justice uh, page um, that's been set up uh, by UPHD in support of James. Now, this will we're going to run through this, and this will give you a more in-depth um, you know, look into what this case is all about. Uh, also, at the same time, you know, I want to be limiting my views um, uh, in, on this video as well because I do not want to be jeopardizing this case by any means okay so let's start from the top we got obviously got the headlines there saying defend trade unions from police prosecution for use of a megaphone so they're prosecuting james for using a megaphone <laughs> on a protest demonstration day okay let's carry on anyway um it's a criminal um case uh hence it's at the high courts um just to give you an insight of how much they raise and how many days to go. So they've got 27 days to go. I think these are normally done over 30 days. So three days gone, they've raised uh, just over £3,211 there. Um, you know, I want to be also helping James in this. Uh, and I, I want to be selling this as well if I can, please. You know, I need you guys to actually help uh, James get this £30,000, whatever the target is, um, to fight this court uh, case in court properly and it's got to be done and uh, also I mean there's a pledge uh, now link which I'll also you'll find the bottom of this video so you could uh, pledge yourself okay let's carry on so um, just a quick insight what he's saying okay so he's saying help us raise 27,000 pounds to defend against prosecution of an alleged for the alleged assault of two police officers by the way of sound from a megaphone together let stop police persecution of trade unionists so what, what they're saying there is basically there's been two officers that's um alleging assault uh, by a megaphone um and this is what this court is uh, case is all about you know it's quite hard actually you know if i was the police officers um i would actually be suing the police force themselves because you know they shouldn't be sending uh, police officers out to uh, these sort of marches or um, protest without them f being fully equipped to handle the situation so um, you know something to be said about that so let's move on anyway okay help uh, James Farah is facing a trial at Southwark 
Crown Court accused of assaulting two police officers at a trade union demonstration. The alleged allegations relates to sound emanating from a megaphone and no physical contact is alleged. So there's nothing physical that's been alleged, which is good. We are hoping to raise £27,000 to defend this case and to protect the rights of future protesters to assemble on the streets without fear of similar prosecution. Okay, so basically uh, they need to raise £27,000 for this case to be uh, fought, which we've been through it. Is it a lot of money, £27,000? You know, it could be for a case. I mean, I'm not sure, but one thing I do know, if you've got kids, you know, these kind of this is the higher end of the uh, professional uh, professions uh, to be earning money. So you know, if you let your kids be a solicitor or a barrister, and you know they could be earning the same amount. But at the same time, you know, for us drivers, for our kids to reach that stage, you know, we need to support them, and we need to support them by money. And if we're not earning um, a good amount of money to pay for their uh, studies, you know, they're not going to hit that. Um, um that level so again this is something james is has been fighting for our rights right, let's move on what's at stake as a small trade union who represents mostly bame workers uh bmae uh, i think i should really do this before i started this video shouldn't i uh black asian minority ethnicity or something like that uh workers in Precarious employment, we are desperately worried about the chilling effect uh, this prosecution will have on grassroots trade unions organizing an activity in this country. So basically, you know, they're right there actually, because um, in a couple of days' time, the lads in Leeds are holding a demonstration as well um, against the council. And so something like this, they need to be careful while they're going there because they could be done for the same thing as well. Right. If the CPS successfully convicts James, the no trade union activist or protester will be safe from police prosecution from something as minor as using a megaphone. Yeah, this is pathetic. A drum whistle or even shouting too loudly. Yet this opens a whole kind of worms you know and 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 i think uh, I'm, what i'm thinking is you know you look at uh, people who work in the um, health sec uh, health section the uh, health sector now nurses who work in mental homes and all them sort of things you know this they, they have clients who will probably shout at them or something like that and you know if if cps win these kind of cases you know there'll be a lot of uh, court cases coming their way in short to the right to assembly, free speech and public protest is gravely threatened by this police overreach. Yep. Please donate whatever you can and make any amount is not to uh, any amount makes a huge impact and share this page to your social media, email, WhatsApp group. OK, let, let's talk about this, about the defendant. Um, James Farrar is founder and chair of United Private Hire Drivers Branch of the IWGB Trade Union, which we have been through it earlier. Now the largest trade union for minicab drivers in the UK. He is also a co-led uh, claimant with Yassin Az Aslam in a successful workers' right claims against Uber. We all know that story. Uh, the background to the case. From January through April 2019, the union staged weekly demonstrations in London against the mayor and Transport for London uh, decision to uh, remove the congestion charge exemption from minicab drivers. Remember, be pre prior to this, PCO drivers were paying no congestion charge while keeping in place for black cab drivers. So basically saying, you know, the black... Um, the PCO drivers will have to pay, the black cabs don't. The union argued that the decision to make precarious workers pay an additional £200 per month for environmental charges was unfair and that Uber should be charged for it. So the cost could be passed on to the consumer rather than low-paid workers. Yep. 
James is imminently facing a criminal trial at Southwark Crown Court, accused of assaulting two police officers at an official trade union demonstration at Parliament Square on March 4th, 2019. However, the police do not allege that, they f- that he physically touched the two police officers or threatened any violence. Instead, he, he is accused of only of using a standard megaphone during the course of the protest, which the police officers allege caused, him pain, caused them pain and discomfort. To convict, the prosecution must, must, must prov- uh, provide he inten- intentionally hurt the police officers or was reckless in the action which led to injury. He vehemently denies both. It, if convicted, Jem faces a sentence of up to one year in prison, a fine or both. Now, that is quite severe. And this is what I'm saying. We need to protect James as much as we can. You know, anyone who knows him will tell, him, uh, will tell you that he's a very humble guy and he'll do, um, you know, his utmost to uh, support you in any ways he can. And in return... What I'm saying is, now let's support him here. This is our perfect opportunity to show him that whatever he's done for us, you know, we are willing to pay back at the same time. We cannot compromise the integrity of the trial by discussing the evidence in advance, but suffice to say, we will be releasing all the video evidence after the case has been concluded. So you can see for yourself what this is all about. So basically what they're saying is, you know, they're not going to release anything because they're going to use that as evidence in court. Why does this case matter? Beside rigorously defending James personally, the lawyer in this case will also argue to defend important elements of the law that serve to protect us all. They will argue sound waves do not constitute force and there was neither... well. And there was neither assault or battery. The judge and jury must consider freedom of association and freedom of speech right as protected under Article 1011 of the Human Convention of Human Rights. You could look that up yourself. And since the allegation and charges were made after the union has filed official complaints with the Metropolitan Police over their behaviour that day, we are also considering making abuse uh, abuse of process argument during the trial. Right, funding needed. We are aiming to raise twenty-seven thousand pounds to support James' legal defense on you know, at the Crown Court. Yes, so you don't get legal aid when 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 you get to Crown Court. So th- this is one of the reasons we need to help him. He is represented by Raj Chander of Hodge Jones Allen. I think I've heard of him actually. Raj is one of the best lawyers in the UK for uh, defending protesters from legal action. There is no legal aid available for this case, so we rely on your kind support. Any excess funds will be held by the union for further action to defend the rights of minicab drivers and other precarious workers. Now, which is good actually, because if they're saying basically, you know, if there's any money that's left over, it's not going to go to waste. You will be to help their own members thank you for your support your appreciation any donation no matter how much your solidarity remains a lot and means a lot to us and basically they got some few uh, showing few people who have pledged over the time now this is it and i thought i'd read that out because obviously you know you get a proper insight into what's actually happening as i said guys please donate doesn't matter what amount it is it's for a good cause and we really need to you know stand up for this sort of behavior by the police and what they actually are intending to do anyway i'll leave it to it and i'll speak to you guys later on bye now